Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and Maria Sakri has qualified officially for the WTA Finals at the end of the year. She becomes the fifth player to qualify for the WTA Finals this year. She's had a great season. A couple of semifinals, a Grand Slam, so she definitely deserves to be there. Let's go see who else has qualified for the WTA Finals. So we have five players that have qualified. Ash Barty, she's qualified for the Finals. Sabalenka, also qualified. French Open champion Kretjakova, she's in. Pushkova has also qualified, and Sakari comes in as the number five player, meaning there's only three spots up for grabs with only one week left of the season. Taking a look at the contenders now, and it's going to take 3,250 points to qualify for the finals. And Iga Sviontek, she's at number six on 3,226 points, so she is only one win away from booking her place into the finals. Muguruza, after a disappointing week this week, is at number seven, but she's still only just outside of qualification at 3,195 five points. Badossa, she's at number eight after winning Indian Wells last week. Jabor, she's at number nine, just behind Badossa. So next week is going to be crucial for both those players. Nemo Osaka's number 10. She won't be playing for the rest of the year, so she won't qualify. Kontavate, who's in action right now in Moscow, she could qualify if she has a really good week at the Kremlin Cup. So watch out for Kontavate making a run late. Pavlachenkova, she's an outside chance. She needs to play well next week. Svetolina, she won't be qualifying because she is not playing next week week and Pagula also outside of qualification after not competing this week or next week bringing her season to an end so there you have it very tight race going to the final week of the season next week for the WTA there's only two events on next week and they're both worth 250 points each so you're gonna have to see do a little bit of math yourself who's gonna actually get in and also don't forget that if a player doesn't even play next week like Sviontek who is not playing uh, she could just qualify because the people around her fall down so it looks like Sviontek's going to get in. Maybe Muguruza as well. Jabor and Badosa are fighting for that final spot. And maybe Contivate, if she can continue her form this week, she might be able to get in. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to qualify for the WTA Finals? So the WTA Finals, it's almost here. Only a couple of weeks away with one final week of the season left. 